All right, we're back somewhere on this blading, and we're going to be taking a look at how good Yuki is, the swimsuit character, the ticket character for the season, and uh, seeing how helpful she can be in this ranked event. Now, of course, I built this team basically around her. We got Sinan uh, mainly there just for the break. We got Asuna and Aedes there for the special RF, but Asuna is also active in the active link attack with Yuki because Yuki doesn't have a special partner, but Asuna does have a special partner with Yuki, so it will activate. Then we got Alice there in the reserves, basically only giving critical buffs to this Yuki. She does more damage depending on her critical buff. And then we got Asuna in the reserves as well, just for the healing and her charge gel. So let's hop in and see what we can actually do. Now I have tried recording this video a couple of times, but oh, it has been a pain, let me tell you. And why? Is because Yuki's stats are garbage, alright? Mainly her health. Like in terms of damage, she's good. But her health is so low that literally if this guy attacks you twice, he's dead. Does it you can't do nothing. So that's where like she sucks, but her skills are actually very good. Which is like, you know, what makes up for it. So we look over here incarnate, she actually gets 20% additional damage when her critical buffs is 30 percent or more and she gets RF plus 2 the charge actually lowers enemies incarnate break by 50 percent so that's gonna be very helpful because uh, he lowers the incarnate by 100 normally but if you inflict that and then he attacks he's gonna lower it by 50 instead so it's gonna be very strong and on top of that you're doing this most of the game right she has charge stacks you want to get that all the way up the assault is very similar to the uh, incarnate so she's going to be doing more damage depending on critical buffs. And under HP, her health, I should say, uh, recovers the HP weak of all allies, raises its own critical damage by 10%, max of 30 for 3 turns, RF plus 1, and then short wait time. Now, to make this Yuki better, she should have just, you know, delete recollection fuel plus 1 and delete short wait time, and add in physical resistance um, buff of 15%. That's all they have to do. And she would have been a lot better. But uh, uh, we'll see, we'll see. We'll see what we can do here. So since we don't have Leaf on the team, uh, we don't have our starting 200%. So we actually have to waste a couple turns. Doesn't matter. But we'll see. I'm just saying right now if she dies here, I'm leaving the end of the video because it has happened so many times already. It has happened so many times. Alright, so... Um, yeah, we're gonna add you in. Boom. And we're gonna do this. And then uh, we're seeing well. Alright. So yeah, that's like my only grip or gripe, I should say, I have with her. Her HP is too low. Like, um... That's, like, that's the main reason why I don't bring 100 characters in here, like level 100. But, uh, you've seen you running like the Alice and the Asuna. Yeah, because, uh... For these videos, I want to bring them into right, but uh, I normally wouldn't have done that. I would bring in 120s or any character that's over level 100 because they can't take it, and here they can't. All right. So, hmm, what are we looking like? Uh, she, she, she got hit. She got hit. Okay. Um, we need to heal. We also need to charge our. our are incarnate, so uh, we're gonna bring you out. We're gonna active in here. We're gonna be seeing a good amount of damage from her. And again, uh, she's gonna be the first attack, so it's gonna be like her damage, right? She will become here Yuki in this, but it doesn't even really matter because it's gonna be her damage. And that's mainly what we just wanna see. Alright, so she does a total of 226. That's actually not bad. Like I said, uh, her damage is actually full oh, awesome. Like, you look, that's the difference between having 12 to 13,000 versus only having 11,000. If that was Yuki, she would have died. Frame one. But yeah, like, um, yeah, that's a uh, very good damage. Like, uh, like I said, uh, she's very strong. She has a very strong kit. Uh, she's doing a lot of damage, but her HP is just uh, terrible, man. Terrible. All right, so obviously we want to heal. Asuna didn't even heal fully. She might die. I I'm just saying, she might die. 
And she dies, uh, we... Yeah, if she dies, we won't have the RF next turn. So, we'll see what happens. All we can do now is just push this button right here and put her hands up, pray that she doesn't aim at Asuna both times. He doesn't aim at Yuki both times. Alright, Asuna. It's fine that Asuna dies. She did her, her job, basically. Alright, it's working out so far. We still got that attack right there. That attack right there, after this one, is where he always kills you for some reason. Always. It always happens there. But uh, we'll see if he does it again. We'll see. Alright, so... We obviously want you out here for the RF. Uh, we can take you out and put you in. We're gonna do that. Uh, we want you in here, of course. And then, um... We're gonna heal with, uh, Leaf. I mean, Leaf. I keep mistaking Yuki for Leaf, but we can heal with Yuki. So, we gotta bring you out. And then we're gonna do this. Perfect. And we're sitting well. Now we got the rings activated. We got everything going on. We got the crit buffs going on now. Nice. So, after she should have, um, 30, right? Because, uh, this doubles it. We'll see if she actually has 30 after this. Yeah, we're gonna do this. Alright, so we're gonna do that, that, and then uh, we're gonna... Hmm... We're gonna heal. Yeah. We're gonna heal. Because she should have 30% right here. Alright, so... Now they're all healed. We're sitting well. So, uh... What's her critical looking like? Yeah, 30. Nice, nice. Perfect. Alright, so all we have to do is survive. Oh, we... you know what? No, we're switching you out. We're switching you out. That's it. We're gonna do this in case he ends up aiming at the 80s or, or Asuna. And uh, we're gonna be fine. Alright, so we're gonna do this as well. And then, um... yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna do this. We're gonna charge as well. Because uh, he is debuff, right? So he's gonna do 50. Either way, we're already gonna be at over 200%. Alright, no, he wasn't debuff, so. It's GG's, my god. Now we get to see how strong Yuki actually is, finally. Alright, so who can we incarnate combo with? No one! What a sh Oh, wait, actually, yeah. the yeah, Asuna, okay. Gonna bring out Asuna. Alright. So, let's take a quick look at her uh, stats. So she has critical buff all the way to 30%, which means that she's going to be getting the additional 20% from her incarnate. Plus the RF is already at 5, so she's getting the 32% from the rings. So she's going to be getting all that extra damage. So let's take a quick gander at what she can do. Gander, gander. I can't even speak anymore. Alright, so she does a total of 364,000 for a TK character that's actually very good, I wanna say. I mean, compared to like these older characters, like, honestly. That's not bad, alright, so... Uh, let's go for Assault, right? Because she's doing- she's basically getting the exact same uh, damage buff here as well, so... Now let's do this, and then let's do this. So on this Assault, she does a total of... 282,000 Yeah, so by herself she already did like um, around 550 to 600,000 And then not to mention like this final attack she's about to do Alright, and right here she does a total of It shouldn't be a lot, right? 118,000 still, okay So yeah, she did very good damage Alright, so I do want to see how how strong she actually gets with her in conscience ring. So, what I'm gonna actually do is cut right now to where we have her set up with those rings, and uh, we'll see what happens. All right, so here we go. We got the full team basically almost dead. We only got Sinon and Yuki left, so she's getting like 96% additional damage from the unconscious rings. Well, let's say we go over here. You see that she's critical damage is at 30%, so she's gonna be getting the 20. 20% from her incarnate buff as well. We got the RF at 4. 
doesn't really matter, but let's see um, actually how much damage she's going to be doing. So, I mean, she is a free character. She probably won't do over 400, but hey, man, we take all the damage we can. 342,000, and there we go. That was Yuki's damage. So let's see what she actually does on her assault as well, because it has the same effect, right? As long as it does like 300,000, we are sitting very fine with this Yuki. 145. Wasn't the best, wasn't the best. But um, yeah, we get to see a good difference from her attack and stuff like that. But let me know down below what you think about this Yuki. Have you used her? And how good she is for you? Like I said, she's gonna be very helpful for a lot of people. But um, yeah, like. Her key is very good. She does good damage. The only thing that I hate about her is that her HP is very low. Especially for this event where if you just get very unlucky, she attacks you in the same spot twice. She's dead. Doesn't matter like how good she is, she can't take those hits. But that's gonna be the video. If you enjoyed it, you know what to do around there. Make a like, subscribe if you're new, and stay tuned for more content on the way. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.